Hey guys, how's it going? So I know I haven't made a video in quite some time, but I decided I'd start off with something a little bit different and do a FIFA 13 squad builder. I've been playing a lot of this game and really enjoying it, so I figured I'd give this kind of video a try. Uh, so I'm going to be running the 3-4-1-2 formation and building a BPL Bundesliga hybrid. Uh, it's a pretty sweaty team to be honest, pretty pacey, has a nice solid midfield, but it's a winning team and it's a team I really like to use. Uh, especially with this attacking formation, and as long as you have pace enough center backs in the back, it'll be pretty easy to defend with too. So we're going to start off in goal with the new team of the season trap. I got this guy in a pack pretty recently. I've only played a few games with him, but he seems to be pretty solid so far. Uh, main stats, 89 diving, very good, 87 reflexes, and 85 positioning. Also, 82 handling is quite useful, so we won't just be punching the ball out all the time for easy rebounds. He'll be able to hold on to it. Uh, the first center back we go into is also from the Bundesliga and a German, uh, Howed. Sorry if that's just a complete butchering of the pronunciation, but 72 pace, stand out right there. Also 81 heading, which is really important uh, for the center of this three in the back defense, and 81 defending is also very important. Then we go over to the next center back, and this guy is from the BPL, plays for Everton, uh, Heitinga. And also 74 paces, pacey, 79 defending, not the best heading, but uh, it'll do. And then we go over to the next center back over here, also from the uh, Bundesliga. And this guy just happened to fit this hybrid very well. Uh, Mancine, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, from England, 74 pace, uh, 72 defending, and 77 heading, which is impressive for a bronze and uh, fits well with this pacey back four, back three. Uh, the first center midfield we'll go with is from the BPL and from Belgium, so you'll probably guess who, th who it is. Uh, Fellaini, this guy is an absolute monster for me. Has pretty good pace, uh, also very good defending and very good heading for a nice holding midfielder. The high defensive work rates also seem to help him out and so help out this three in the back that we have going on for the defense. The next center midfield is from Germany, plays for the Bundesliga, and uh, Sven Bender, and he is a lot like Fellaini. Not, not as good dribbling though, and not quite as fast, but he also has very good defending and good heading, and uh, is also has high, high work rates, so he'll be able to move forward and also come back to help out the three in the back. The next uh, midfielder we have is from the BPL and he is also Belgium which creates a nice strong chemistry link with uh, Fellaini and it is Lama. You can also put Hazard in there but didn't really feel like dropping the coins on him seeing as this is a fairly cheap squad except for the team of the season but you can always put in another really good German goalkeeper because there's plenty of them. Um, but Lama also very fast so that's what I like for these uh, left and right midfielders. He has pretty good dribbling, 75, not the best, but mainly he's just a pace uh, guy and nice chemistry link for Fellaini and the next striker we'll have over there. <coughs> the right midfielder will be, let's see, uh, also from the BPL, uh, Johnson, another very fast. He has good dribbling, decent long shots, and uh, I think medium low work rates. Lama has high medium work rates, uh, so he'll just be a nice. Um, another pace guy for going up the wings, which I think is really important for this formation. And then center forward is the German from the Bundesliga, Royce. Probably I found one of the best players in this game, for me at least. 90 pace, 84 shooting, r ridiculous long shots. I think high 80s for long shots and shot power. 84 dribbling, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Um, and no, pretty poor heading, but that's not that big of a deal. He's had 29 uh, goals in 24 games, and these prices are going to be off PC prices. You know, everybody knows that. But uh, he has he's kind of off by five goals, and a couple of those are just EA disconnects, so not much I can do about that. The next striker is going to be from Belgium, and also in the BPL. Uh, Morales, another amazing player for me. He's very cheap too. Uh, probably can get him for under a thousand. Um, he has 88 pace, 75 shooting, 85 dribbling, which is very very good. Unfortunately, he only has three star skills, 
but he has a four-star weak foot, which I like. Got him for only 750 coins right there. Uh, 24 games and 24 goals in 25 games. Very impressive, I think. And then the last striker will be also from the BPL, and it's going to be Sturridge. So very tasty front three. Sturridge has 90 pace, 78 shooting, uh, 84 dribbling, which is very nice, and 75 heading, so he can he can throw in some crosses to him. Might be able to do pretty well with those. 10 goals in 9 games. Haven't played uh, that many games with this guy, but got him for fairly cheap. And that about sums up... Oh, this about sums up the squad builder. Uh, I also have a bench here, Gundogan, if you'd like to play with him. Four star skills, uh, fairly cheap, not that not that expensive. Uh, then Vertonghen, you can put him in for a high tinga if you'd like to do that. Not quite as fast though, which is why I put him on the bench, but very good heading and defending. Then you have Welbeck here, who can uh, fit in the for Sturridge possibly if you'd like to do that, but his high high work rate's kind of he's kind of all over the pitch. Uh, Lennon here could go in for Johnson, also a very fast option with some good dribbling, but his shooting just isn't the same, so I decided to put Johnson in there. Uh, Campbell, I bought him recently and found that he is uh, very good, very pacey, and has some decent dribbling, but if you'd like to put in a silver player for any one of these attackers, you could possibly do that. Uh, Weidenfeller is a cheap option for Trap, I found. Trap, is, as you can see, every stat's better, but... Uh, Weidenfeller seems to be, for me, one of the most OP goalkeepers in the game. Just <coughs> very good all around. And then Tony Cruz, just have him in there for uh, maybe a center forward for Royce. Uh, that's about it. Uh, so if you like this video and if you'd like to see some more, maybe uh, squad builders, some more FIFA gameplay, any kind of gameplay, you can leave a comment. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.